Hi, welcome to Tackle Tarts. We're at Ribby Hall Holiday Village near Blackpool. Um, this is the first one of uh, the weekend. I didn't catch any carp yesterday. Um, they were doing my head in, but just had this one on the method feeder uh, tied to the aerator. And uh, we'll get him back and see if we can get a bigger one. Maybe a ghosty or a koi or something. Right, we'll pop him back. Right, here's my uh, second fish. I did foul up one before, a nice orange one, but I just slipped that one straight back. Um, a little snub nose ghosty, pretty much on the drop on the method next to the aerator. Oop. I had that uh, little orange thing from down the margin. But there he is. It's full of fish like this in here. <laughs> but uh, we'll get him back and see if we can get a bigger orange one. Got a nice linear on him. Again on the method from the aerator. Just about fits. Really silvery this thing. He's got a bit of koi in him then. Super awesome. I'll get a few and then we'll the back. There he is, I don't know how much you can see of that, but a uh, perfect white koi. Got right out of the edge, right in uh, glass knockings. Still got about an hour to uh, fish actually, you don't you know, make you stop at 10. So um, we'll get this fish back. Smile! And uh, stop telling us to smile. <laughs> we'll get him back and see if we can get another one. Waiting for it to go down. Got another fish on. Sure, get net. Where you down there. It's nice. at a rapid rate of knots. Go on, Andy. <laughs> This one from uh, the other side of the spot, but right in the margins. I think I might be able to get one last fish before I go in. And uh, so we'll pop him back and see if we can get one more. If not, I'll uh, probably see you tomorrow morning sometime. We'll get him back. Go. On. Hi, welcome back to Tackle Tarts. Um, we're still at Ribby Hall. 
I've had two this morning, but they weren't uh, too big, only about five or six pounds, so I just didn't bother filming them. Uh, a common and a mirror, they're nice fish, uh, both from the margins, one from over there and then one from down there, which I just had. And I just thought I'd uh, take this moment to uh, show you the float rig that I've been using. Um, it's very simple, everyone should uh, learn how to float fish before they go carp fishing, as far as I, uh, that's my motto anyway. Um, you can just see out there there's a few tail patterns coming up. The old tail pattern, fish rolling over the spot, that's where I've got like, a load of, using 10 mil pellets and a few fours. Um, the fours are really for when I'm fishing right in the edge, really close in like there. But, uh, and then I've got some paste in the other one down there. But oh, right, the float set up. Start off, got a uh, 2A8 puddle chucker float, um, which is stumpy because the water's only three foot deep and uh, it's weighty enough to get me out there and keep the float stationary in the wind. Then I've got a, a BB shot after the two AAs because it's actually really buoyant, that float takes more than that. Um, that's to sink it past on the, the rod. There's the hook. It's a size 12 uh, mixer. Uh, up mixer hook from Corda that I use for carp fishing. Um, I want a strong hook so I can keep them out of the snags with a banded 10 mil pellet. Right, we'll get it back out there and see if I can get one. If I get anything of a half decent size or if it's a koi or something, I'll show you what it what it is and looks like and stuff. I'll see you in a bit, hopefully. Still this one. How long can the to go to Alright, we'll get this one back and see if we can get any big ones. My small brother has hooked the cat. Wind a bit more, you. Make sure you keep a tight line on him. Don't pull too hard, though. Just let him take line if he wants to. Stop, stop, stop. Whoa, whoa. Don't whine when the clutch is going. Chill, you and chill, chill, chill. Yeah, you don't need to bully him in. But Otherwise, it'll be all over. No, he's not. Good, he's been taught by the best. Yes, I am. Take a tiny bit more line in you. He's got a bit more control over it. Be right now. I can't see because you're a big bum. Shut up, you. You, you stop pulling so hard. Just chill out. You know, Take a bit of line in. Put the rod down as you do it. Wow, it's like orange. Oh, oh you didn't watch it. To the rock. He doesn't want me to net you. There he is. Ghosty. Yeah. Have you got a ghosty yet? Yeah. Right, that's the end for Tackle Tarts this week. Um, it's goodbye from me and James, even though James is not here, he said bye. Um, next week we should be back together again. Don't know where we're fishing, but we should be back together fishing um, again um, after this break. I hope you've enjoyed this one. 
I certainly have. The calf has started spawning, which probably explains why we've been struggling catching. But uh, for me and James, I'm a little brother. We'll see you next time.